for me. Okay, I think we need to restart this video after a short word from our sponsors. <laughs> that was funny. Down grew, Cujo. <laughs> you said it, not me. I she punches. This feels weird. I haven't it so long. This feels weird. <laughs> Yeah, it looks it looks really straight compared to yours. Oh I got my poof. <laughs> like on that Princess Diaries movie when she was talking about having her first kiss and she just wants her foot to go pop and her mom was making fun of her and went poop <laughs> Well yeah, I have to agree that was pretty stupid. Oh. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is the my first time tag, because you know, we're both versions over here. <laughs> Versions or virgins? <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Talking to pastor. Versions. <laughs> mm, oh At least we think we are. I know I am. And um, I don't know if you are. <laughs> I don't know if you're a virgin either, darling. So. Uh, considering I'm the only one that has a Twitter, the first tweet was. Well, my new account anyway. It was I think it was a picture of you, me, and Lydia. Um, my first YouTube video was it was on my other channel before I had this, and it was a video of me dancing to a song I should get up. Devin filmed, filmed, <laughs> recorded. That uh, sounded really weird. <laughs> um, the first person I subscribed to. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know the first person I subscribed to is TJ Smith. Do you know who he is? He, um, he and his girlfriend sit in the car and they do these sing along songs and oh. they lip sync to songs. And I can sing with them. They had one guy flip them off. <laughs> <laughs> they just had a little smiley face mm. over scene. I think I said my first one was The Computer Nerd. And he just makes like some parodies of songs. Because he did this 2011 rap. That's when I first started watching him. <coughs> that was pretty funny. Um, first Facebook profile pic. I don't remember that far. I have to check mine. I, I have to go to the Annalise KDAL, though, because this isn't my first account. Probably gonna be something stupid. It's a picture of me when I was maybe eleven. And I look really retarded. And hair was longer. I kind of wondered if it was that one or the Selena. But yeah. Uh da, da, da. and oh wait, yours. Yours has just been Quotes or animals. Mm -hmm. Still don't know why it says that. Mm. No, I mean, it says that you're my sister, but after you deleted me for no reason and then put me back on, you still, haven't, period, okay? you still haven't put it back on. having issues. You still me. haven't put it back yet. I didn't? Oh, I haven't been on Facebook in almost a week, so. Um, yeah, this... Relax! We're all crazy. It's enough competition. <sighs> Do you still talk to your first love? <laughs> oh, no, she's thinking about it. <laughs> oh, you don't necessarily know who that was. Have you ever been in love? Hmm. I think it's probably more like infatuation. <laughs> No, seriously, and you probably have the same thing, because to actually be in love with someone, like, from a biblical perspective, is, well, like, it's a marital love, in a sense, if that's what you're talking about. I'm assuming from the context of the question, that's probably what it means. But So you're just talking about, like, having a crush on someone? Yeah. Then, it was in second grade. Oh, boy. Wait, no, first grade. Oh, and it was the, his name was Seth, and he was a year older than me. 
technically he was in the same class as me because first and second were together. Mm. But you. But no, I'm not. I just still I don't talk to him. I don't. I've never really been. I disappeared from you. Anyway, I've never really been infatuated with anyone. Like, I had a crush on anybody. So. Jensen and Apples. Jared Padalecki. Misha Collins. <laughs> yeah, but not infatuated. Mm. Like, I mean. I'm just not that emotional. No. Well, I'm sorry, okay? Just because I say they're cute and I enjoy watching them act. Just oh. put all the pillows behind you. Anyway, just because I enjoy watching them act and their eye candy doesn't mean I'm infatuated with them. Their eye candy. Are you quite finished? I think so. Big dork. Yeah, perfect. I just... um, first alcoholic drink. <laughs> I've never had alcohol. I never intend to. And if you value your life, no. You know I already have. After that stupid mistake. I was 11. Oh. Still not late. That was my choice not to. What the heck was that? I don't know. I thought that was you. What the heck was that? That's creepy. <laughs> then go get the fudge and salt. Sounds like someone saying hi. That's nice. Hello. Anyway. But yeah, it was grape wine. Hey, for you. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any dial, like, number with my foot, but I didn't. Okay. Uh, the first job. Uh, the cashier job in MFIB. Mine was detasseling. Well, actually, technically mine would be cleaning the church, because I used to do that before I worked at Ivy. I was 13 when I was detasseling. I don't remember when I started cleaning the church. Uh, first car, which would be my 96 tracker. Yeah. My first one would be... Oh, what year was hers? She's older than me. She's older than me. My first one was a 93. 93 kind of book. And the one I have now is in, or one car. Can't tell my dad doesn't like Crown Victorias. <laughs> Who was the first person that I texted today? Dan Mulch. Normally it would be her, but she's here, so. I think it was my mother wanting to know why I hadn't really talked to her. Or no, he just texted me to say she missed me. No, I take that back. I think Dad was the first one to text me. All I know is you were being your phone going off all morning was annoying. I texted Dad to see if he was awake this morning. I think Mom texted me. Hmm. Sure thing. Okay, so Mom texted me at 9.34, but I texted Dad at 10 after 11. And he got back to me at, I don't know, quarter after. So I decided to play dad was the first one. That was complicated. Moving on. Who's the first person you thought of this morning? I'm going to say it was her because she was probably like, uh, yeah, because you were t attacking, ow, attacking <laughs> me this morning. Uh, I can't remember. There's all kind of fuzzy. <laughs> Everything's fuzzy for you. Uh, who was your first grade teacher? Mom. Um, Miss Reinhard. What? Reinhard. I thought you said Brian Hopper. <laughs> How did you get Hopper from hard? Oh. No. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? I've never been on an airplane. Uh, I went to D.C. That was when I was out in Virginia. I was really had to pick them up. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? Sarah and Nope. Well, I don't really use the word best friend necessarily. It's kind of dangerous to label people with such. But in the context of the situation. 
You're the first person I've claimed as a best friend, and obviously we're still talking. What about Karina? I never really claimed her. That was actually your idea. I honestly don't know who said it first to me. I'm pretty sure it was you. It might have been Mom, too, because Mom always went around Probably saying that this is all my best friend. Well, no, it was Karina. I mean, she said it all the time, and I was like, yeah, just whatever. Which is kind of the same way with you. Me and Mom always said it all the time, I was like, yeah, whatever. Because, again, it's not really a word I use. I think it's very dangerous to categorize people. Yeah, and then you like going around telling people at your college, I'm related to you and I'm your sister. <laughs> That's because he's saying that he's fun to mess with. If I wouldn't have got to them before, the other people before you, you probably would have led them on too. Mm -hmm. Um, my first sleepover was probably Hetty. Even though she lived right across the, literally right across from me. I think it was. Well, sleepovers and like just staying the night at someone else's house, or sleepovers and like staying with a friend. Staying with friends. Because I know dad and mom, whenever they wanted a long time, they'd always take us out to grandma's. <laughs> but probably staying with a friend would be that my old pastor. He had four daughters, and they would us over sometimes. That's probably the first time. I never realized until watching. Um, some of your guys' old family videos that you've known Karina for a long time. I did? Yeah, because when I was watching some of the videos when you were in, like, maybe second or third grade, she was there. Hmm. I that. You were such a sweet little girl. There, ma, your, what happened? There was some little girl that needed help up and down the stairs, and you were holding her hand up. Yeah, yeah I don't remember Karina outside of ninth grade. You mean you don't remember nothing behind that great back then? Oh, I remember stuff. I'm not trying not to do Um. First thing you did this morning. I got out of bed. You mean you <laughs> tortured me? <laughs> I should I get to wake up? I don't remember if that So, works, most though. likely the first thing I did was groan or swing. What? <laughs> yes, there. The first concert I went to. I've been to one. The only reason I've been to concerts think. is because for music appreciation class we had to go to classical concerts and we had to write reports on it. But the first one I went to for that was Piano Guys. But it was amazing. I don't think I've been to a concert. Mm, first broken bone. I haven't broken a bone. I haven't either, thank the Lord. By some small miracle. First piercing is my ears. Yeah, same here. How old were you when you get yours first? Thirteen. I think I was too. Foreign Maybe country. You used twelve. Twelve to fifteen. <laughs> anyway. Foreign country you gone to. I haven't yeah. left the country. Nope. Oh, I went to Iowa. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I went to Tennessee. Does that count? <laughs> well, <laughs> I kind of like to be there in the state, probably. Uh, first movie I remember seeing. Finding Nemo at the movie theater. Even though I wouldn't stand still. I was like walking between First mom and dad. The movie I remember seeing was a John Wayne film. Why oh, doesn't that surprise me? Hey, I grew up watching Western okay. with Grandpa. That's One of my first clearest memories of my grandpa was sitting in the recliner, um, watching Westerns with him, and he would always have this really big cup of ice pieces, but they were like big ones, so he would bite, bite it off and then give us the smaller half. That's one of my first clearest memories of Grandpa. Grandpa Denny. When was your first detention? I haven't had. I don't think I've been to de had a detention, but I've been sent to the principal's office. What do you get sent to the principal's office for? Um, there was an idiot in first grade, and I can't remember what he did to me, but it obviously irritated me, and I stabbed him in the eye with the eraser on the end of the pencil. <laughs> and he didn't even get in trouble for whatever he, whatever he did to me, but I was the one that got sent to the principal's office, and being that it was a Christian school. You, Mr. Mayfield would call our parents and see if he could get permission to spank us. Hmm. Which, of course, Dad said no, he'd take care of it. So he just came and picked me up. Just like I told you about how horrible my old pastor used to be with it. Hmm. Um, I don't think I've ever done it with that attention. I'm trying to think. Oh. <laughs> well... 
um, Kimberly went to the school that Lydia's going to now. Kimberly went there until fourth grade, and I was there for one semester of kindergarten. And then at that point, my parents realized like how expensive it was going to be, so they pulled us both out to homeschool. But before that, her and her friends had cornered me in the cafeteria and wouldn't let me go. So I grabbed the nearest arm and I bit oh. down, and I wouldn't let go. Yeah, I remember that. because the teacher was like trying to pry my mouth off her arm. Probably a good thing I bit Kimberly and not somebody else. Yeah, and I. I guess we went to classes like normal. I really don't remember. But, um, I do remember that we both got in really big trouble because Dad had to leave work to come pick us up. What do you mean? Yeah, he was working in Hannah Steel. It was right there in Pekin, but still, losing a day of work was not a good thing. And we both got in really big trouble. Like, I was convinced that I didn't do anything wrong. It was kind of her own stupid fault. <laughs> and, of course, she was all ticked. I mean, she had a big old welt and a nasty bruise. I was surprised I didn't actually break the skin. Yeah. So I guess that then qualifies as attention. Uh, who was your first roommate? Technically my sister, technically. I would say mine. I guess my brother. Yeah. Probably. I remember for a while I always shared a room with. Um, well, they're. All three of us were in the same room, and then when we left that pavement and moved to Little America, Kimberly got her own room. And then, when she was at an Uncle Scotty's, we had separate rooms. And at one point, all three of us were in the same room again. But, yeah. Uh, if you had one wish, what would it be? Huh? I'll get my list out. Mm. Christ would come back. Because anything outside of that is never going to ultimately solve all your problems. Now, if I were to wish for something more material, like actual touch and feel, I would say... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'd say probably a million dollars. That's what I was going to say. Sure. Somebody has that on the chalkboard in the dorm. Like they write questions, like you know, um, what's your favorite thing about fall? Or um, one of the questions was, what would you do with a million bucks? What's your favorite attribute of God? And for the million buck things, I put pay off my parents' debts. What was the first? you were involved in question mark nine. Well, considering that I never did any sports, probably basketball. I was never actually on a team. Mm. I don't know, just random sports I play all the time. Because I've done... Just like fooling around basketball, football, soccer, baseball, softball, dodgeball, dodgeball. Mm. That's the first thing you do when you get home. Go right to my room and flop on the bed. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, yeah. When was first, your first thing I did when I get home? <gasps> uh, let's see. It kind of depends what day it is. I almost always have to let the dogs out. Other times I start on the dishes and start laundry. Very rarely do I actually get to go home and just sit. And if I do get to sit down, it's usually for a few seconds until I think of something that needs to be done and I have to get that done. Lydia said that the first thing I always do when I get to your house is go straight to your couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, whenever she walks into the house, the first thing she looks for is somewhere to pop her butt. Period. Oh! See? One point exactly. Yeah, we can skip the next one. <laughs> what? When was your first kiss? I don't know. When was it, huh? Hmm? See you grinning over there. My first kiss was the dog. Mm hmm. My uncle had this uh, Springer Spaniel named Lucky. Huh? That was my first kiss. The dog. I mean, if you want to talk technical, it was probably my dad. Either my dad or my mom. That I understand. 
I was never really big on that whole thing. I was the only grandkid that when Grandma would kiss and hug us all goodbye, I just got a hug. Knock it off. Quit. Just load already. Gosh. But have, have you ever actually kissed the guy outside of your dad? If I even told you, you'd kill me. I didn't tell you for the alcohol thing. Ha! Huh. You're probably thinking about ways to do it. <sighs> anyway, who was it? I'm not answering that question. Why not? I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, right! If I didn't kill you for taking a drink of alcohol, I'm not gonna kill you for kissing somebody. You were the one that told me you would literally murder me if I ever kissed a guy. Just talking about Who was it? Who was it? Well, how old were you? For the record, my first kiss was on accident. I didn't plan it. How the heck does that happen? I think I was... That sounds like a romance comedy where they run around the corner and wham! <laughs> Deck, if you want to call it that. I think I was ten. Mm -hmm. And the neighbor boy that lived down the street, he had me walk from home one time. He was eight. Yeah, he just kind of, you know, didn't talk to him for a couple of days. <laughs> well, that I believe. That's just awkward. Anyway, how old were you with the, the other one that you didn't tell me about? What? The one that you didn't want me to tell. Where the yeah. Can't talk. That's not surprising. <laughs> anyway, other than that, that doesn't answer the question. Is that a no or a yes? Huh? Next question. Who is the first Denial, person? silence. Both of those are the first signs of admittance. So yes, there's somebody else. She's just a chicken to tell me. Who is the first person you cared more about their well-being than your own? Hmm. Well, obviously family. So, I mean, besides my parents, I guess maybe Hetty. Are you, Lydia? I'd say outside. Well, actually, the first time I like legit thought about it would probably be Lydia. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, family. Yeah. Uh, when was your first public speaking success? Yeah, see, I don't got so <laughs> public speaking success. Well, I don't think I've ever spoken in public besides. Well. You're going to have it pretty soon if you're going to be a checker. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you don't succeed in public well, speaking while you're working. <laughs> well, I figured they meant like something like, you know, you get up in front of people and speak, give a big old speech. Well, it's technically the same thing. You have to stand there and serve people and carry on a conversation and make them feel welcome. Because I used to hate going up in front of church and thinking with the kids. Because I'd just get so, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, stage fright. <laughs> I know when Lydia and I went to Schomburg with Pastor, and he took us to that purity conference, I know Lydia and I took two Sunday afternoons talking about the different stuff that we had learned. When was the first time you got stitches? I got seven stitches on my arm, because I was playing with the neighbor dog, and I was looking behind me while she was chasing me, and I tripped over his tra- um, I tripped- yeah, I tripped, tripped over his trailer- and I like smacked a pole that was sticking out, and you I didn't really... over the hitch, or I just tripped over the trailer because <laughs> I wasn't looking, and I was like, I figured it was like way over here, so I was like moving over a little bit, but nope. Whoop. <laughs> I technically should have had stitches. Um, it was time to leave grandma's. Like Lydia, there, Lydia, and I'm paying tax. I was running this way, and I heard Dad call my name, so I'm like, I turned around. While then Lydia yelled my name, like one of those like. Ah! Like freaking out kind of thing, so I turned around and wham, there I smacked it on the um, porch railing, the corner of it. It was um, wood that hadn't been sanded, and it cut me right here. It split me open from the top of my bottom lip all the way down. I probably should have had stitches, but I didn't. It was really funny because we got into the bathroom, and Grandma was at home, and Grandpa was there, Dad was there. And I was taking a Q-tip and I was looking in the mirror and I was cleaning it out and Dad's over there. <laughs> and Grandpa's just kind of standing there with a band-aid like, he's not really sure what to do. And I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> It was really funny. It looked weird in the camera. <laughs> I <don't think. laughs> no more, I'm not imitating the job. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I just did that. 
And, so and anyway. this video is over. <laughs> anyway, when was see you next time, time on Grab Ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. When was it? <laughs> it took you that long, really. I was planning to smack you no matter what you said. <laughs> I can tell she really loves me. Anyway. Gosh. When was the first time you stayed up all night and watched the sunrise? Like she never. probably hasn't. I've um, gone up to see the sunrise, but I've never stayed up all night. Um, Lydia Bazillion was staying here, and her and me literally talked all night. Oh, jeez. Because the next night I know, I looked out the window, and it was starting to get a little blue out, so we mm -hmm. just went outside and watched it. Um, first thing you learned to cook. I'm gonna guess it's either mac and cheese or tuna nude casserole. Mm-mm. Mine was, um... No, I mean mine. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. Mine would be... There's morels. You know, the mushrooms you find in the woods are oh. like absolutely delicious. It's either that or homemade chicken strips. First paying job the tasseling. And church cleaning. Oh, I lied. Babysitting. When Kimberly had her gallbladder taken out, I had to take care of the kid because he was, he was a chunky kid. Like, she couldn't lift anything over 10 pounds, I think, and he was almost 35. So I had to do everything for him. Yeah, after almost two weeks of having to lift the kid and change his diapers and feed him and play with him and all that other crap that goes on with babysitting, which, by the way, I am not a fan of. She didn't want to give me the money for it. Oh, man, I was dicked. And so was Dad. I could tell he was mad. Like, I was even going to give her a little bit of it because she, she was laid on the couch and if I had any questions, she was there to, to answer. So I was going to give her a little bit, just, you know, for not, like, sleeping all day and abandoning me completely. But no, she wanted all of it. I don't know, stick. Really? Um, what was your first bike like? It was purple and it had training wheels. I think it was blue. I really don't remember. Of course, okay. that one was so long ago, it was an actual tricycle. Well then, my first bike is a pink, is a pink trike. But the first one I remember actually riding was the purple one. Stop yeah, it! Yeah, the first bike I had was a black mountain bike that um, Pastor Dan, our intern pastor, he um, ran a bike shop on the side and he gave that one to me. We saw it somewhere. Uh, anyway, when was the first time you shot a gun? I don't know. I've handled them before, but I've never actually shot one. You haven't shot a gun? No, and I'd rather not have to. I told Dad that I, uh, because of the violence that guns are associated with, I would rather not have to learn how to handle one. But I also did tell him that if I was going to be living somewhere close to a city or living by myself, I wanted him to teach me how to shoot. Just for my own protection. I <laughs> went, like, I went squirrel hunting. I went always hunting. Squirrel. Oh. Um. What were you hunting? hunting? And what else is there? I don't have the patience for that. And then, I mean, we took some old boxes or stuff and went out in the woods and target shooted. When was the first time you moved houses? I've never been able to move a house. That's what it's saying. When was the first time you moved out of a house and into a new one? It's early. Anyway, you look like you're doing the cloth thing. <laughs> um, that would be when we moved from the shack into the trailer. Um, There's, I mean, the one distinct thing about the shack is like you could hear the wind whistling through the walls. That's why we called it the shack. The shrieking shack. <laughs> if it was 80 degrees outside, if it was 80 degrees inside. Mm -hmm. If it was 30 outside, it was 30 inside. Um, I guess mine was from. Lewis to the Quincy. Uh, when was the first time you threw a punch? Karina's brother Cody made a really uh, crude joke. It was targeted at me. So I pulled back and I hit him. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I punched one of the neighbor kids for calling me a bitch. Um, idiots. 
When was the first time you quit a job? I don't know if I have. Um, I quit cleaning the church. Told them I couldn't do it anymore because well, I was going to go away to college and Lydia couldn't do it by herself and she was going into school and she was going to play sports so we both quit that job. What the heck is a sporting event? Like an NFL game or basketball? NFL's football. Yes, dear. Like a football game or basketball game. Or grown game. men wear tight pants and fight over a ball like bunch of toddlers. <laughs> mm, when was the first time you realized you were good at your job? Wait, you've never been to one of a professional sporting event? Oh, I went to a baseball game Wait, in Virginia. No. No. It was I went to um, four wheel races at the, or like monster trucks. Mm. When I was out in Virginia, the church had a youth activity going to, I think it was Cardinals. The only thing I remember about that baseball game. Other than the fact that I was bored to death and those seats were as hard as heck, <laughs> the only thing I remember is that, um, I don't know when in the game it was, maybe 30, 40 minutes in, some guy comes running onto the field, no shirt on, and starts taking his pants off. Like, he moved the entire stadium. <laughs> he was, like, halfway across the, the, um, whatever they call it. Field. field yeah. And the catcher tackled him <laughs> so security could catch up. Like, he jumped on the guy. And then security was right there, so he, like, rolled off of him and stepped away because, like, he didn't want to get mixed up in it. Yeah. It was really funny, though, because I think eventually the guy would have tripped him in because his pants were around his ankles. Pretty sure he was drunk. You <laughs> think? Hey, people who do that when they're sober just so they can give you on TV, dear. But, yeah, that's the only thing I remember about the baseball game. Other than the fact that we got back to the church at, like, 1 in the morning and we didn't get back to the house until 2. And I had to carry Ashley inside up the stairs. Um, the first, the first, first time you realized you are good at your job. I don't know. What kind of heck of question is that? The first regrettable hairstyle. When I got that beach wave because it's messed up my hair now. No? Nah. My hair wasn't always like this. Like what? Kind of weavish. Shut up. I'm confused. No shock there! <laughs> Anyway, I've never styled my hair, so I wouldn't know. Never dyed it, never layered it, never had a perm. I don't intend to do any of the bed either. It's back here. It's a business venture. Probably like investing or like trying to start your own business. How old were you when you first left home? I don't think I have. Mm mm. It'd be like me going to college or technically. You and I left home. First time you cut class. I don't think I've cut class. Cause oh, I have. Of course, I was in college, so. Oh. Yeah, there was a couple times I cut because I was feeling sick. But other than that, I just didn't want to. My ADD was in overdrive and I had way too much caffeine. I was like, nope, not one class. What's the first time you went fishing? Uh, I was with Janet. She lives out now. Old friend of the family. And we went fishing with them. I didn't do anything but Sunday, didn't it? How do you go out of your Steve? How old were you when you got your first computer? Sixteen. His dad brought one of his big computers from upstairs down. When was the first time you stood up for yourself? Probably mm -hmm. when I punched TJ. The one I can actually remember. Yeah, it was at church. And Hannah Fogelsong was the main pianist. And um, she would want me to play off the toy that day, even though it wasn't my Sunday and I didn't have anything ready. And I thought I told her, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not ready. I'm not going to go up there and humiliate myself. It's not happening. I think I was like, no. Are you younger? Yeah. Nine or ten.
Yeah, she wasn't very happy with me, but I got talking to her my mom and all that crap. But I think the other time would be when mom was in the hospital. Um, visitors were supposed to leave by 10 o'clock, but we hadn't stayed with dad for like almost a month. And um, he was, mom wouldn't go back to her room unless dad was with her. But the nurse was trying to make us leave, and I was afraid that if we left the visitor's room, then Grandma would make us go home with her again, so that way Dad would take care of us. So I had uh, a hold of him, and I wouldn't let go, and I almost took a swing at the nurse trying to make us leave. So she finally agreed to let us stay until Dad could get Mom to go to bed, which was only like maybe 30 minutes. Looking back on it, she probably could have lost her job, but... That's literally only two distinct ones I remember. Imagine that I almost took a swing at somebody. Yeah, we're back from an early age. <laughs> that was weird. Just clicking my tongue. Maybe it gets freaked out with her and me do something like at the same time, whether it's like with her face or hands or just say the same word. Because if her and me were to do the at the same time, she goes, STOP IT! How about when I can see what she did, that'd be a little creepy. <laughs> Don't switch your hey. <laughs> Wait, if I do, it'll be on your computer. That sounds weird. Oh, weird. <laughs> You <laughs> can't even do it. Oh! <laughs> Here my shorts rub on the bed and that, and then my back cracked. It's just weird. Messed up, right? 37.